Hello, it's um, Adam from Moya here. Um, just yesterday I uploaded the video for um, my first tutorial. And normally I won't be making videos this fast right after another. But this is just a small tip rather than a tutorial. So I figured I might as well throw it up now. Um, now I'm sure as most of old scripters go, or I should say old scripters, people have been scripting for at least a month or so, maybe even sooner. Um, you guys probably are used to using the scripting reference on the website. Now, I do recommend using this for anybody who doesn't. It's extremely helpful. Um, they have, I'm pretty sure, I'm, they might not have all, but I'm pretty sure they have every single possible, like, kind of uh, function and the methods and stuff you can call, depending if you're using C Sharp or Java, um, and all that. Now, this is not what my, t uh, my tip's about. But I'm going to show this real quick, t so anybody who doesn't know can fig um, see it. Um, on here, say I didn't know how to do something, like, I don't know, well, GUI.window, I've already searched it, I'll go back to the main page real quick. There. Now, um, if I go up here to the search bar, I can type in GUI, and it will give me the main GUI um, element, and then all its functions and what it's able to do in which case I can go on here and find the window or I can search window and happens to be the first one and there it gives me eight examples of how to do it now you can search anything you want on here and a new feature they've just added on here um, within I'd say a couple weeks so I just noticed it the other day is that they now have um, where you can change what script you want to see it in before it was only available in JavaScript. Now it's available in but also C sharp and Boo, which I don't even know if anybody uses Boo. But um now for the actual tip. Say you're on the bus, on the plane, somewhere without internet, but you still want to get work done. And since you don't have this, you can't really search for anything. If you get stuck on something, there's no way to be helped out of it. You just have to hope you can remember. Um, my computer flipped out. Now, I was on Unity the other day, and I hit some F command, and I don't remember which one it was, but I did, um, look how to get to it without using the F command, the function commands field. Um, if you go over to help, in the help, they actually have the Unity manual, reference manual, and scripting manual. For me, I only care about the scripting manual, I don't even use the other ones. Um, excuse old internet, I have to allow blocked content. But this is an almost exact identity, um, exact duplication of this. It was exact at one point, but with new updates added to this, this has not been updated. And I am only on Unity 2.6, so it might be updated to the real version in uh, 3.0. I don't know. Um, I haven't downloaded it yet. I'm gonna get around to that soon, hopefully. But on here, it works exactly the same. If I was to type in GUI gives me all the results and I can go in here and I can go out the window and as you can see they're almost exactly the same um, the only difference I can really tell is on this one that does not have the option to change what um, language you are because like I said it's a new feature but um, if you see my other tutorial and you want to script in C sharp it really doesn't matter they're almost exactly the same now, uh, even though this looks like it's on the web still, it's actually downloaded your computer. For me, it's downloaded somewhere in my documents. Um, it's deep in the Unity folder. I'm not going to take the time to find it. But yeah, the entire web, this entire quote unquote website is actually there, is actually downloaded your computer. So it's just a helpful tip. Uh, it allows you to ac access it faster if you don't want to go on the internet or access it if you're offline. And that's it for this tip. Hope you guys will use this.